Good morning, Real Housewives fans. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Joe Gorga and the fact that The Sun just came out with an article that he's getting sued by an attorney who represented him in a $6 million real estate deal back in December of 2020 all the way into May of 2021 that Joe allegedly accumulated over $3,000 in legal fees and he has refused to pay. The attorney has now followed suit and served Joe with paperwork and we're going to talk a little bit about that. So the Sun came out and dropped an article and they titled it as follows. Real Housewives of New Jersey, Joe Gorga sued by lawyer for refusing to pay legal services in $6 million real estate deal. Now they're going to allege that they have tried to collect payment from him, um, that basically he didn't pay for his services. The complaint was filed June 26th. He was hired by Joe, the attorney whose name is listed as Allen and his last name is Tremblick. Um, if you're from the area and you know who that is, please comment and let me know what your thoughts are um, about him as an attorney because when I was going through my issues um, with the cease and desist, um, I had a lot of phone calls from like bogus attorneys from Tom's River with the area code and it actually just happened to me again the other day. So really, really weird. Um, there'll be like attorneys linked to like the phone number that calls me, but then when I call the number back, there's, it's not a working number. It's really strange. So, um, if you know anything about that attorney, DM me on Instagram if you can find me HW Historian too. Um, I'm new to the Tiki Talk. I heard you guys aren't so nice over here. So um, if you guys want to be nice to me today, that would be great. And if not, you could just keep scrolling. <laughs> okay, anyways, it says um, that the plaintiff performed legal services for the defendant, which is Joe Gorga, in connection with the transaction on May 14, 2021. And on June 9th, the plaintiff rendered itemized invoices to the defendant for services performed. So that means they billed him on the 14th and June 9th. The plaintiff continued to claim despite all of the demands, the defendant has failed and refused to pay any portion of the amount due. The services included teleconferences, reviewing and revising contracts, and other services. Allen is also requesting interest, attorney's fees, and costs of the lawsuit. The summons was mailed to Joe according to court papers, but he has not responded to the lawsuit. Joe and Melissa, 43, and their three children moved into their New Jersey mansion in November of 2022 after buying the property for almost $950,000. Guys, this is where people start to get upset with the Gorgas. If you're a Gorga fan, you are welcome here. Everyone is always welcome. Everyone has a place at the table. Everyone's opinion matters, right? Just as long as that you comment it and you're respectful in the comments like everyone has an opinion. We can't all love the same people. Okay. But this is where people start to get frustrated with them. You like, it's hard for people to watch somebody live in a million dollar home and owe $3,300 in legal fees and owe $110,000 to concrete people. And, um, and $15,000 to the patio furniture people. Like you can't do that in your community because people see you and that definitely is not going to, it's not a good, it's not a good thing because it's like everyone that pops up from their past has a story about being screwed, like, and left in the dust, whether it's friends, whether it's business, whether it's concrete people, whether it's the um, maid, whether it's the car people, like, it's like somebody is always getting screwed when they're dealing with these people. And if you were owed $3,300 that you worked for, would you be pissed if you knew that your people were living in a million dollar home and they only owe you $3,000 and you're, you know, working hard for your money? If you work for your money, you're entitled to your money, right? Period, point blank. It doesn't matter if you're an attorney, okay? $110,000 is owed to a concrete company. Let's not also forget that there was a $15,000 that they owed to the patio furniture people. And Melissa is allegedly showing off her home, which is very beautiful, but she's showing off all of her cre co concrete, all of her plantery, all of the, all of this patio furniture. And it's hard for people to kind of swallow when they know that you have a $110,000 concrete person suing you right now. The company there, it, I looked it up. There's only 200 people. Basically the company finance, it gives you your own financing. They must have a lender there so you can apply and they approve you for a certain amount and then you can make payments. So that is probably what they did here. And that's why it's $110,000 that he owes the concrete people. So it's like the concrete people aren't paid. There's like materials that aren't paid for. Um, you know, this sort of thing popping up and you guys are showing off your house. And so you cannot think that it's going to always be rainbows and butterflies. Like, 
people I think are starting to speak out more now than ever about their experiences because of the fact that before they would be attacked and they're still getting attacked and if you watch my YouTube channel the housewife historian if you don't go check it out I let you guys know there's a lot of bots going around especially on Instagram make sure you're just blocking these people don't be arguing with people in the comments don't open DMs from people that you don't know okay I'm telling you that they are a well-oiled machine on that side of the couch well-oiled as in lots of people well-oiled and they will come for you okay so just be mindful in your comments and um have a great day make sure you like and follow